Today we'll be building a simple login page application using Qt Creator and SQLite. This is a great introduction to working with the databases and user authentication in Qt applications. Before we begin, for this project you will need to have few things installed. Qt Creator, you can download it for free from the official Qt website and DB Browser for SQLite. This is a free and lightweight database management tool. To set up the database, open DB Browser for SQLite. Click New Database to create a new database file. Name it something like login.db and save it in a convenient location. Now in the pop-up option to create a table, name the table login details or you can get this pop-up by pressing on create table. In the field tab add two columns, username, text and password, text. The username is set as primary key ensuring each username is unique. To add an entry to the table, head to the browse data tab and press on insert a new record in the current table. This creates a new entry in the table and replace null with the username admin and password. You can add more users by repeating this step. Once done, write the changes to the database. Open Qt Creator and start a new project. Choose Widgets Application and give it a name like Login App. For build systems, we are using CMake. In the Designer window, drag and drop the following widgets from the Widgets toolbox into the main window. Three queue line edits for username, password and status message, one queue push button for login and two queue labels for username and password labels. Alright, so to enable our application to interact with the SQLite database, we need to make a couple of adjustments to our cmake lists.txt file. In the find package line of the code, include SQL after widgets. The second line will link the required Qt libraries for widget and SQL functionality to our project. This has to be done by including SQL in the target link libraries line. In the header file, we shall include two libraries that is Qt SQL and QSQL database. Now implement the logic for the login button click in the UI by right clicking on the button and selecting go to slot and then select clicked. Go back to the main code that is in the CPP file. In the on push button clicked, we shall include the code for its operation. We are starting by creating a QSQL database object named SQLiteDB. This object will handle our interaction with the SQL database. Then we are calling the add database function on the SQL database class, specifying QSQLite as the database driver. This tells the Qt that we want to connect to an SQL Lite database. Next, we are setting the database name using the set database name function. Here I'm using the path d login work login.db. Make sure to update this path to match the location of your actual database file. Now we need to grab the username and password entered by the user. We are declaring two string variables, username and password, and we are using the text function to the UI get line edit and UI get line edit two objects to get the context from the corresponding line edit widgets in our UI. This retrieves the value the user typed in. To open the database connection, we are calling the open function on the SQLite DB object. This attempts to establish a connection with the SQLite database specified earlier. Inside the if block, we are creating a QSQL query named query. This object allows us to execute SQL queries on the connected database. We are using the prepare function on the query object to define our login verification query. This query will select all the data from the login details table where the username and password columns match the values entered by the user. We are also using bind value to bind the retrieved username and password to placeholders. This helps prevent SQL injection vulnerabilities. Another if block checks if the query execution was successful using query.execute function. If the query execution was successful, we proceed to check if any results were found. 
we are calling the next function on the query object. This function advances the query cursor to the next result row. If there is a matching username and password, the cursor will move to that row. If the query.next returns true, meaning a row was found, it indicates a successful login. We update the third line edit with a login successful message. Otherwise, query.rext returns false. The username and password combination wasn't found in the database and we display invalid username or password message. If the query execution itself failed, we display a login failed database error message indicating an issue with the database connection or query itself. In order to handle database connection errors, if the initial SQL Lite db.open call failed to establish a connection with the database, the code within the else block will be executed. Here, we are simply updating the third line edit with a connection failed message to inform the user of the connection issue. Finally, regardless of the success or failure of the login attempt, we are always closing the database connection using SQLite db.close. This ensures we properly release the database resources. In order to run the application, compile and run your Qt application, usually by pressing the green run button in the Qt creator. Enter the username and password and click login button. If everything works correctly, you should see a login successful message in the status line edit. If not, check the displayed message for clues about the error. This video provided a basic introduction to creating a login page application using Qt Creator and SQLite. You can easily modify this application to suit your needs. For example, upon successful login, you can change the functionality of login button to navigate to the user to a dedicated home page or another relevant window within your application.